What's up, Piper Drivers? Welcome back to the channel. This week, May 25th, is the anniversary of Star Wars Return of the Jedi, the movie that kicked it off for me. This is the first Star Wars movie that I ever saw as a kid, and I was hooked from the moment I saw it. So because of that, we are going to be celebrating Return of the Jedi all week with lots of really awesome unboxing videos, video game videos, and a bunch of other stuff to just honor the movie Return of the Jedi. And today we're going to start off this week with a bang. In this box right here is a piece I've been wanting to get for a very, very long time. It is the Roman Props Thermal Detonator. So let's get this thing out of the box and punch it. Welcome back, Hyperdrivers and newcomers. I am the Medina Lorian, and here on the Hyperdrive, we talk about Star Wars news, collecting, and video games. If you like the content that you see on this channel, please give me a thumbs up so you can let the YouTube algorithms know that we're doing a good job. Hit that subscribe button and punch that bell so you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. All right, so as I stated in the intro, in this box right here is the Roman Props Thermal Detonator. Now this is a cool prop, something for your collection that you could pick up that doesn't really break the bank. It's only $261 plus shipping, so right around the price of a hot toy. And even cooler than that, this is now considered a lineage piece, which I know is very important to some of you Star Wars collectors out there. So this one was actually used during the filming of, Return, of uh, the Mandalorian TV show, Mandalorian season two. I almost said Return of the Jedi. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like the prop from Return of the Jedi, but actually these props were used during the filming of Mandalorian season two, which is really, really cool. So you can get a lineage piece for your collection and not have to spend $2,000 to do it. So that's, that's awesome. So let's get this thing out of the box and check it out, all right? Super excited to check this thing out. Comes in that box. You get a warning, you get a warning on both sides actually. So it takes a special kind of battery and I ordered those ahead of time. So that way I can try it out today. <laughs> it's got a nice weight to it. There we go. Bring it up close so you guys can see me remove the sheets of tissue. <laughs> Man, that's dope. So I got the weathered version. You can also get a clean version. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. Life-size prop. Very, very cool. And even more cool than that, this thing actually has light-up features. So let me put the batteries inside. Now, this requires these little tiny batteries, special size batteries. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can get these style batteries if you decide to want to buy one of these and also a description on the bottom on what they are. But these are the type of batteries that you're going to need to, uh, to install on them. So let's see how you install these things. I think it twists open if I remember correctly. Yep. So you twist out the bottom and there's your section right there for the battery. All right. all right, now it's all closed up. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Holding a thermal detonator. No need to worry, not gonna blow up the house. <laughs> that is so cool. Dude, look at the LEDs on that thing. And they count off. That is dope. That is so damn cool. That is, that is, that's freaking awesome. Really awesome job on the weathering as well. So I got the weather version. Like I said, you can get a clean one if you want to. And it all fits together very nicely. Locks right into place. No problem whatsoever. So I'm super happy with this purchase. This is awesome. Like I said, very easy to get. You can pick one of these up over at Roman Props right now. I left the link in the description below for you guys to get to them if you want to get one yourself. I'm going to put one of these on my wall. It's going to go probably like right here maybe or above, somewhere around there. I'm going to have it on the wall back there on my weapons rack. This is so damn cool. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. And until next time, may the force be with you.